In this video, you will see the proof of the sign rule. Now, sign rule is applied when you don't have a right angle triangle. Let's see the triangle here, ABC. It's not right angle in any of its edge in, in its vertices. So, how can we use the sign rule? Let's draw a perpendicular line from C and connect it with AB. And we can call this as the height of the triangle. All right. Now, you can see there are two triangles inside this triangle which are right angled. So let me just bring them out here. So you can see there are two triangles here and both are right angled. All right. So let's apply the ratios, which is the sine ratio to the to both of them. So if A is our theta, then sine of A would be the angle here. A would refer to the angle that's here. So sine A would be equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. That's H over B. So let's bring that here. Next, let's take this triangle and let's find sine B, which is referring to the angle here. All right. So sine B would be equal to H divided by A. So let's further simplify both these equations. So keeping the H and taking the B to the other side, you get B times sine A. And similarly, keep the H here and move the A to the other side. So it's A times sine B. So we can see H is equal to B times sine A and H is equal to A times sine B. So let's equate these two. So we can say B times sine A is equal to A times sine B. Further simplifying this by bringing the sine to the other side, you can write it as a by sine a is equal to b by sine b. So this is the sine rule. You can further extend the same method and you can find that it also equals to c by sine c. All right, now let's consider an obtuse angle triangle. So it's obtuse at b. How can we apply the same sine rule to this? Now, I'm going to extend this AB to a point P here and draw a perpendicular line all the way to C. Right. Again, you will notice here there are two triangles, two right angle triangles. The first right angle triangle is CAP. Let me move it out of this triangle. You can see it here. The next one is CBP. Let me bring it here. So you, you can see there are two triangles which are right angle. Now we're going to apply the sine rule for the first one. Or rather, we're going to find the sine, uh, sine of A for the first triangle. So sine A would be equal to hypo, uh, H, which is opposite side, over B, which is the hypotenuse. So H over B. Right. So simplifying this further, we can say H is equal to B times sine A. Similarly, let's find what is sine B for the second triangle. So sine B would be equal to H over A. Now, further simplifying this, you get H is equal to A times sine B. Now, equating these two, because they're both equal to H, we can say b times sine a is equal to a times sine b. Now let's bring sine a down here and sine b down here. So you, we can bring, you can say that a by sine a is equal to b by sine b. So extending this further to the other side, we can say that a by sine a is equal to b by sine b is equal to c by sine c. Thank you for watching Math Tutorial Anand. Please like and you can comment if you have any questions and do not forget to subscribe to get more videos like this.